I just want to thank everybody for being here. This is like incredible. I'm so thankful and excited. This is the bench. I know many of you guys have seen it for the first time. Mm -hmm. So this is the beautiful bench that, you know, Linda's vision. This is her vision right here. You know, this was her dream. Um, so just a little short story back um, I think March of 2012 Linda came to me and she's like Randy you know I have this this project that I want to work on I want to have a bench at the Brooklyn Botanical Gardens you know like would you help me and I said yeah of course I think this would you know this is perfect for Michael because he was about the environment and saving the earth and um, and you know we we thought it would be a perfect um, money perfect tribute for him so we signed the contracts in April 2012 uh, a year and a half later we raised 44 fans raised ten thousand dollars to make this um, a reality uh, what's so wonderful about it is this is gonna be here for as long as the Brooklyn Botanical Gardens are here. It's always here. It's always, it can always be a place for where fans gather. Um, Linda's dream, you know, I think this is really the only memorial for Michael like here in the East Coast, like a yes. permanent memorial yeah. on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we, um, so, I mean, it's here. It's here for, for eternity uh -huh. and I am so <laughs> thankful and like I said, this is her dream. Now it's her legacy. Uh, Joe Jackson knows about the bench. We gave him a picture of the bench and a certificate back in um, August. Yeah, so he's aware of it. And, you know, that's pretty much it. Anybody else, you know, have, have any words? Or I know Kimmy said you wanted to say something. Hi, I'm oh. Kim Bailey. Um, I met Linda. Uh, soon after Michael passed and um, I know there are a lot of people who who have come and really loved her and a lot of people who wanted to be here today that couldn't like Mary Brookins and um, Elizabeth Olney, Polly Bruckner and they all send their love to everyone and um, Linda was the person who who could lift me up. Um, a lot of people, I, I really struggle with my mental illness and Linda would always be able to know how to reach past it and say, don't let go of my hand, just like Michael would say. And she was one of the most Michael-like people that I ever was blessed to know. And I just, I'm really grateful to have known her and, and it's an honor to meet everybody here today. God bless everybody. Thank, Thank you, you for sharing. You. Anybody else want to share a story? Well, I've uh, met Linda on numerous occasions, and she's a wonderful person. I'm sorry for her, for her passing, but I'm happy that her dream came true. And that's wonderful, and I'm, I'm really happy for her. And everyone here is showing their love for her, and that's special. And I just wanted to be here for her. I wanted to go to the funeral, but I couldn't make it. But I'm here now. And I want to tell her that I love her. And I'm proud of her because her dream came true. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, um, Lauren White, Denise. Um, I don't know if everybody knows like the story about like why um, Michael Jackson meant so much to my Aunt Linda. Um, but one day I asked her, because I mean, um, I like him, but I'm not, <laughs> I didn't under, <laughs> I like him, but I was like, you know, I didn't understand like why he meant so much to her, so I asked her one day, and um, she told me that um, when um, her and my mom and family came from Haiti here, and she was like in middle school, and when she came here, she didn't really know English, and the kids were horrible and mean, and she had a really tough time, and she said the only thing that would really make her happy was listening to the Jackson 5 and listening to Michael Jackson, and it really got through a tough time in her life. So she was just saying how that, like, without him, she didn't think that she would have gotten through. Um, high school's a lot better, but it was just that period where you're just like, you didn't know if you were just gonna still keep fighting and still going to school. And obviously still going to school allowed her to go to college and do all that stuff, but the one thing that got her through those tough times was 
Michael Jackson. And so one of the things about him and why she was just so kind of grateful to him is that, you know, when someone gets you through a really difficult time and that's no one else can reach you or no one else can help you, and that's what listening to him meant. So it's really great that um, she was able to sort of, I think that's why the bench was something she really wanted to do because I think she wanted to say thank you and kind of give back to Michael like Michael did so much for her. And so I'm glad that she was able to do that and recognize that while she was still on this earth. And um, I just want to say thank you to everybody for putting this memorial together because it's a really, fit, a really good ending and fitting ending to say goodbye to her because of how much she meant to her. So thank you, everybody. Thank you. Hi. I just um, wanted to say that I, Linda was one of the first people that I met after Michael Jackson's passing. Um, and she was always so gung-ho to organize and to make sure that Michael was recognized and that there was a group of people who were mourning at that time who she would lend a hand to and talk to and get us together as a group. And that was Linda, getting people together. One of the things that um, I am happy for, um, we'll, we will miss her forever, but she was able to do all the Michael Jackson activities she was able to see so much that so many of us have not been able to see, and I'm very grateful for that. So, Linda, wherever you are, dancing with Michael, we <laughs> love you. We love Dallas. you, and we miss you. <laughs> and here we are at your legacy today, your bench. God bless you. Thank you. Um, Linda was the first Michael Jackson fan that I met in my life, and um, I met her September 2011 at a Michael Jackson event in uh, Manhattan. And um, this is the shirt that she gave me. And um, one of the first Michael Jackson shirts that I owned. And um, I was so appreciative. It was just, I almost started crying when she gave me this. So, you know, I'll, warm, I'll cherish you know, this forever. And um, Linda was one of the nicest, warmest people that I've met, met in my entire life. And um, every time I saw her, she always gave me these long, warm, mm -hmm. Hugs, like I can't even explain it. Like I've never, nobody has never hugged me like that before. So, um, you know, I just want to say I love you, Linda, and thank you so much for being so kind to me. And you know, just remember you forever. You know, I will say this. Um, oh, she's gonna get me going. <laughs> I'm not a pretty choir. <laughs> but. I think um, the most important thing to remember, other than the fact with Michael Jackson and everything that she did for him, is we need to remember her and her spirit and her love for everybody that she came in contact with. We met Linda, I met Linda on um, one of the first MJ cruises in uh, August of 2010. And I just think it's so appropriate that we met there dancing and laughing and singing and having a ball. And those memories, along with so many, many others, <laughs> shower caps on the heads, <laughs> drinking, dancing, laughing, getting lost, whatever it may be, traveling around Brooklyn. the country. <laughs> right, and, and the country together. We all had such amazing times together. And our spirit will definitely live here as well as in everybody's hearts, I'm sure, and we will miss her forever and ever. Honestly, I think I'm still stunned. <laughs> I still can't, you know, I can't believe it. Honestly, I, I'm still, I don't know when it's going to hit me. I don't know when it's going to sink in. Um, you know, Linda was like my partner. I mean, when it came, came to this, because, you know, we know about the bench, but there's also the the Michael Jackson MTV campaign that we worked on, um, that now all these big stars are getting, you know, this, these van, get his Vanguard Award. Um, she was just a really special, very, you know, never held grudges, always tried to do the right thing. Um, well, she always told me she loved me. She couldn't wait to see me. That was one of the last things she said to me. Um, you know, we hope we can meet up because we were supposed to get together this past like Sunday. Um, so I'm you know, again, I'm so grateful this is here for her um, because this 
just what's her dream and when I said that she was so passionate about this it wasn't easy raising 10 grand I'll tell you that much but we worked hard at it and she she gave her all she literally gave she gave her last every little thing she had that was like the last thing she did for them you know she contributed to so oh.